Hi, I am Sandra Hawkins and I want to show you how to install the Northwind database into Microsoft SQL Server. So once you have SQL Server Management Studio open, if you go to the menu and go to File, Open File and browse to where you have downloaded the install script for Northwind. Um, I will pop a link under the tutorial so where you can download it yourself. So click on Open once you locate that. Then what you need to do is click the Execute button or you can press F5 on the keyboard. That will take a few seconds. You can see down the bottom there that it is executing the query. So it will give up some errors about not finding a stored procedure, but there's no need to worry about that. So once it has been installed, you can right click on databases in the Object Explorer window. Right click there and choose Refresh you will then see Northwind appearing in underneath. You can expand the Northwind database and again expand the tables to show all the tables that have been installed. Now that will take a few seconds to come up once after it's a new install. There we go. You can see there are the, the tables, categories and customers and employees and so on. Now to show you how to query from one of those tables. So I'm going to open up the new query window there above. Now it's very important as well that there's an available databases drop down and it usually defaults to master. So it's very important to change that to Northwind. If not, when you type in your query and execute it, it won't know what table you're talking about. So I'm going to ask for, so select star from customers. So select means give me all of the rows, or sorry, stars, all of the columns. So select all of the columns from the customers table. And to execute that, you can press F5 or press the execute button again. And it will give back all the rows that are in that customer table. So you can see there that there are 91 rows that have been returned. So that was how to install a Northwind database into SQL Server. And the following tutorials I put up will be querying the tables that are within this database.